tonight on Size Eyes on the Skies. It is a chilly, it is a blustery Tuesday evening behind a cold front, currently 49 in Ames. Coming up, we'll talk about when those wind speeds will settle down and when a warm-up will be in store. Plus, Rachel has your national forecast. All that and more as this Tuesday, October 15th edition of Size Eyes on the Sky starts now. Live from Studio 171 in Ames, Iowa, the Iowa State Meteorology Department team of meteorologists brings you the latest weather from around the country and out your front door. Iowa State's longest running television program and the only live weather broadcast on campus starts right now. This is Size Eyes on the Skies. Welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. I'm now joined by Trey. So Trey, it was a pretty nice day today and it looks like the rest of the week's gonna be nice too. Yeah, it was nice till that cold front came through, but then those temperatures took a tumble. Windy out there, isn't it? Yes, I, I had the luxury of finding that out on my way here. <laughs> well, for uh, good news is it will be warming up as we head later into this week. Let's start out with a look at our traffic camera this evening. This is a look at I-35 off of US-30 in East Ames this evening. Currently, it is 49 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Those winds are gusty out of the northwest at 15 miles per hour. Notice the pressure here. That pressure is rising, which is a sign that the cold front has come through. High pressure will begin to filter in, and we will see those wind speeds begin to, take a, uh, uh, begin to drop a little bit as we head into the evening and overnight. You can see right now, though, still windy with those gusty northwest winds behind the front. Generally, uh, wind speeds right now between 15 and 25 miles per hour. Let's take a look at some of the headlines for this evening. Gusty winds will be diminishing as we head into the overnight hours, followed by a warming trend as we head later into this week, but that will transpire into a stormy weekend. I'll have more details on that in just a moment. And now it's time for tonight's weather story. On this date in 2015 in Scott County, a period of dry weather sparked an agricultural fire which lasted eight days. From October 12th to 20th, a combination of very low humidity, dry fields, and strong winds fueled the fire until it was finally contained. And now here's Rachel with a look at what's going on around the country. We have some rain in the Great Lakes region, rain in the southeast, and some nice, cool, dry air behind it. I'll tell you more in a few minutes. Welcome back. Now here's Rachel with a look at what's happening around the nation. Lots of rain happening right now in the southeast and Great Lakes. Behind it, cool, dry air. What does that mean for our temperatures right now? 40s up Minneapolis and 50s near 60 in Kansas City. You can see where it's a little bit warmer down in Texas, but um, let's see what's going on here. Um, 45 Minneapolis, 41 Bismarck chilly in the upper Midwest. However, slightly less chilly over on the coast. Maine's looking at 50s with some 40s in the far north and southeast we're getting some 80s down Florida but pretty sharp cutoff as we get into the 70s and even 60s in Georgia and Alabama. 91 in Phoenix right now so very warm in the desert. Kind of expected but that cuts off sharply as we get into the 60s in northern Arizona. Um, Montana's looking pretty chilly in the north, but 50s for the rest of the states. That snow they got must have gone away pretty quick. Looking at the upper atmosphere, there's a slight trough across the upper Midwest right now, and that's what's bringing those cold temperatures down. But if we progress, well, I guess it skipped anyway. Um, <laughs> um, for the rain, though, that's a, how do I make it play? Sorry. Okay rain across most of the country, but in Lubbock, Texas for that football game we have coming up. Beautiful weather, much better than what we'd see if it happened in Iowa. 70s, 76 is a high on Saturday and sunny, so great football weather. Maybe even a little warm, but I'm sure the football players are gonna like it much better than the chilly stuff we got going on around here. Tomorrow we're forecasted to get up into the 50s across the state of Iowa and 60s, 70s along the coast, but overall pretty consistent across most of the country. 
And now it's time for tonight's trivia question. What was the highest wind speed ever recorded on Earth? A, 318 miles per hour, B, 200 miles per hour, C, 175 miles per hour, or D, 321 miles per hour? We'll have your answer coming up right soon after the break. Now let's have a look at the day, uh, the week ahead with Trey. Well, we don't have any of those high recorded wind speeds in our forecast tonight. It will be chilly, though, and windy behind the front. You can see right now temperatures falling into the 40s across northwestern Iowa, still a little bit warmer down to the south and east. Coming up, we'll tell you how low it goes tonight and then when our storm chances will return. All that in just a moment. Welcome back. Hope you, hopefully you had a great Tuesday and hopefully you have your jacket because temperatures are falling across central Iowa. You can see upper mid to upper 40s across most of the state. Still a little bit warm down to the southeast. Ottumwa sitting at 54 right now, 49 in Ames. But you can see a Spencer right now sitting with the chilly spot at 45 degrees. Let's take a look now at what to uh, what we can see here from our tower camera. This is in East Ames off of I-35 and US-30. You can see 49 degrees right now, mostly cloudy skies. Winds out of the northwest at 15 miles per hour, so it is very breezy behind that front this evening. Notice the pressure there. We pointed that out at the beginning. When we see the pressure rise as what we are, uh, as what's being indicated, that's a good indication that the front has come through the region. Here's a look at wind speeds across the state right now. Gusty out of the west northwest at about 15 to 20 miles per hour, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Now we will see those winds begin to settle down as we head into the evening and overnight hours. You can see here's another look at those temperatures falling into the 40s. And you can see with the gusty winds that we have in place that is causing a wind chill. So uh, that's definitely why you want your jacket as you head into this evening and overnight. You can see wind chills already falling into the 30s up to the northwest and we'll continue to see those wind chills drop as we head into this evening. Here's a look at the Midwest satellite and radar composite over the last six hours. You can see the system that came through the state today, part of the upper level low that's moving through the Great Lakes region into Wisconsin this evening. Strong northwesterly flow on the back side of that, and that's why we're seeing those gusty winds. You can see a couple showers from St. Louis up to Chicago and then back through the Great Lakes states. So let's take a look now at the future cast for the rest of this evening. Now you can see we'll have some clouds that wrap around the upper level low up to the northwest. It will remain kind of windy through the overnight hours. But eventually we're going to see those winds begin to settle down. And then as we head through the tomorrow afternoon and evening, notice how we have most of the clouds up here off, up, to, up to the north across northern and eastern Iowa near that upper level low. But then we start to see some clearing down to the south and west. And then as we head into Thursday, that's when that high pressure, high pressure you'll really notice it well. Uh, high pressure provides sinking stable air and that will create a clear day, mostly sunny skies. And then you can see the sun will begin to fade away as we head into this weekend with our next weather system coming in as we head into Saturday with a chance for showers and even more showers and storms as, as we head into Sunday. Here's a look at the upper atmosphere. Notice here that upper level low up to the northeast that will begin to move off out into the east as we head into the latter part of this week. But notice here this upper level ridge across the Midwest and that will provide sinking air, stable air in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So a warming trend is expected with this pattern and very dry conditions as well. But notice here up to the northwest that there's our next system that will be coming in as we head into Sunday with showers and storms. So overnight tonight lows dropping into the upper 30s to lower 40s. It will be breezy and then for tomorrow high temperatures generally in the upper 40s to 50s. Uh, a little bit cooler where the cloud cover will be in place. And then here's a look at your extended outlook for the Ames and Des Moines area for the next seven days. Notice here we'll begin to see that warm up will be near 70 on Friday and then those storm chances do return this weekend. Uh, also mild conditions. It will be very windy as well as we head into Sunday and then temperatures falling back into the 50s as we head into next week. Let's take another look at tonight's trivia question. What was the highest wind speed ever recorded on Earth? A, 318 miles per hour, B, 200 miles per hour, C, 175 miles per hour, or D, 321 miles per hour? Oh gosh, um, I would say probably 200. It's a pretty, um, in the middle there, it's kind of in the middle of the range and still pretty high to be impressive. What do you think? I know it's 318 miles per hour. I'm going to have oh, to yeah? go with Jacob's answer as well, 318. 
Ooh, that's pretty yeah. windy. Yes, I, I believe that was with a tornado in 1999, more yeah. Oklahoma. May 3rd, 1999. Fastest recorded wind speed on the earth. Incredible. There's Looks your like answer. Looks like he got it. It was A, yeah. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah. We don't have any of those yeah. type of wind speeds <laughs> coming anytime soon. It will be breezy overnight tonight, but then things settle down nicer end of the week expected. Yeah. Yeah, definitely glad there's no hurricanes either. <laughs> that would not be a good time. Oh, no, not at all. So, yeah, yeah. just nice conditions later this week. Of course, if we were on Sam right now, that would be normal. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sounds that concludes tonight's show. Please be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You can find every show on YouTube under our Size Eyes channel. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you on Thursday. <laughs> Somebody had to get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very robotic.